obviously been here uh, for over four years now, but your first uh, recruiting class at the helm, I guess, what's the general impression on the class you guys are able to bring in? I think we filled our needs. Uh, matter of fact, I know we did. We added speed, um, we added athleticism, and we added depth up front on both sides of the ball. Um, I'm very excited about the linebackers we're bringing in, very athletic, very physical uh, football players. Um, very excited about the two safeties. Um, we had solid speed at receiver and at running back. Obviously, we got a ton of production uh, graduating out of here in uh, Deham and Mike and Ben. And uh, it's, we feel like we fulfilled our needs. I think John Cheremani is all he's going to do is add and solidify a tight end position that is already uh, in pretty good shape. Uh, has a chance to be a very complete player. Um, I, I feel good about it. I do. We, um, we had some shots out there late to, uh, to try to pick up uh, one or two more that didn't come through, but uh, we're very pleased. Our coaches did a great job. They really, really did. And I, in, me and my efforts, I was able to hold on to the ones that, uh, that we needed to hold on to, as well as the young men that I was already involved in in my area in Central Florida. I think it was seven or eight kids from the state of South Carolina, and that's something you guys have really done a nice job on as a staff. What does that do to keep kids in state? Well, it speaks that we care about South Carolina football. Um, we have a nice blending in this class. Um, we have close to the similar number um, from Florida, and we've got a nice, a nice number out of Georgia, and we've actually reached into North Carolina and had some success with this class, probably more so than any other class we've had, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we have a nice representation, certainly of our home state in South Carolina and Florida, who's been, it's been very, very good to us. Uh, but also Georgia and North Carolina as well. And that's where our radius extends to. How about just, uh, you mentioned the staff, but uh, what you guys have been able to build here and uh, what, what in your experience has been the reception of what CSU football has become when you go out there on the recruiting trail? Well, they know who we are. <laughs> that's the first thing. When I first came here, uh, probably 50% of the young men had never heard of Charleston Southern. Um, that never happens anymore. So. That's the obvious immediate impact. Um, the transition caused questions, obvious questions, uh, but they were quickly answered. And um, we were able to hold on to every young man that was committed to us prior to the transition. And uh, that speaks to our coaches and the job that they've done. Um, the fact that we've been able to extend ourselves beyond our recruiting board late and picked up some young men and some families that I think our, our huge wins uh, speaks very, very well to what they've, to keep in their ears and their minds uh, on the things that were happening in regards to recruiting and other people's recruitment. And um, we, uh, we got a couple of young men that we weren't involved with and we're really excited about.